911. Where is your emergency? Hello, 911. Yes, uh, we just found a baby in the trash behind the, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, damn, I can't think straight. Uh, fuck. Before childbirth, a mother's womb is the fetus's home. In a healthy pregnancy, that home is a safe, soothing, and cozy environment that supplies all the unborn baby's needs. Mother and fetus have ample time to bond, and this bond is widely accepted as sacred and unbreakable. But on rare occasions, that bond does break and mothers may make terrible decisions. When that happens, how much leniency, if any, should be extended to the youngest offenders? In a 2012 ruling, the United States Supreme Court said young offenders should rarely receive a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Although the Supreme Court ruling limits the use of life without parole, the United States remains the only nation that sentences people to life without parole for crimes committed before turning 18. In this video, we explore the case of a teenage mother, Alexis Avila, who is awaiting trial on charges of attempted murder or child abuse resulting in great bodily harm. Although she reached the age of maturity in New Mexico by the time of the alleged criminal act and is therefore legally considered an adult, youth is sometimes a mitigating factor in sentencing. Therefore, as a young adult, the question remains. If found guilty, how much leniency, if any, should society extend to the most youthful offenders? To begin, let's examine the facts of this case. Alexis Avila is an 18-year-old Hobbs, New Mexico resident who lived at home with her mother. She was a student at Hobbs High School, where 100% of students are economically disadvantaged and only 30% of students are proficient in reading based on the most recent state testing performance. When Alexis was not studying, she enjoyed posting on social media and having the occasional night out with friends. However, after one such evening at a friend's birthday party in July 2021, an altercation at her home caused her mother to call 911. Communication authority, this is Erica. Hi, Erica, this is Martha. I need the police officer at 8. Well, my daughter was at a teen fan, and apparently her boyfriend hit her, it punched her in the face, and her cousin and the boyfriend or friend or whatever got into a fight. And if he did punch her, then I want to press charges. Hey, stop it! Hey! Who's, who's yelling, ma'am? <laughs> they're they're on the way, ma'am. What's going on? Who's who's fighting? Ma'am, who's saying who's saying get off of me? Her brother is trying to control her, but she's just acting crazy. Hobbs police arrived and obtained statements, but no criminal charges were filed for the incident. In August, Alexis and her then-boyfriend, a minor allegedly involved in the July altercation, ended their 18-month relationship. Unfortunately for Alexis, the adversity continued as she dropped out of high school in December. Then, three weeks later, the unimaginable happened in a shopping center parking lot in Hobbs, New Mexico. Nine one one, where is your emergency? Hello, nine one one. Yes, uh, we just found a baby in the trash behind the uh, uh, what is it? Uh, damn, can't think straight. Uh, the Hobbs what is the pool Hey, Chris, what is it? where are we at? What, the mall, Hobbs Broadway. Behind. We're behind Hogs Mall. Okay, I'm showing you 1218 North. Uh, baby, we just found an infant child. Is it breathing? In the goddamn trash. Yes, ma'am. Okay. In the I'm middle of the mall, you. behind the mall, the Hogs Buffet. Okay. Is it closed? Torping you. Torping you. 
Is, does the baby have any clothes on? Yes, it is making noise. Okay, do you have a blanket? It is a boy, and he is still alive, I believe. He looks pretty good. Okay, do you have a blanket or something you can wrap him in? Huh? Do you have a blanket or something you can wrap him in? Yes, ma'am, he was in a blanket. Huh? Okay, can I have your name? Huh? Can I have your name, please? He looks like he's in good health, actually. Okay, can I have your name? He still got his umbilical cord, she said. Uh, I don't, it's a, uh, hold, you'll have to wait the passengers moving, or the drivers moving his truck, but no, hold on one second. Ambulance workers treated the newborn at the scene before transporting him to Lubbock Hospital. When doctors assessed the baby, they found signs of hypothermia. Doctors ordered a blood transfusion and placed the infant on a feeding tube and oxygen, which helped to stabilize him. Back at the police station, detectives contacted the owner of the Rig Outfitters supply store to see if they had any surveillance video. The owner confirmed there was footage and gave it to authorities. Upon reviewing the footage, police observed the following. Investigators ran the license plate for the white Volkswagen and successfully traced it back to Avila's parents. Police immediately went to Avila's home and made contact with her parents. The parents confirmed it was their daughter who drove the vehicle at the time the infant was abandoned. Since Alexis was sleeping when the police arrived, her parents agreed to bring her to the police station for questioning. Upon arrival, Alexis was escorted to an interview room where she was isolated for 20 minutes until the interview began. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, no worries. That's how close to town. All right, so, my name's Janet Clay, okay? Hi. I'm Daniel Pez. I'm an investigator here with the hospital police department. All right. What is your name? Alexis. Alexis. What is your full name? Alexis and Claudia. Okay. So before I do ask you any questions, okay? Um, I do policy per policy and procedure. I read everybody their rights. It doesn't mean anything other than me, you know, making you aware of your rights and you understanding your rights. Okay. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need any medical attention though? Before we start, no? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, you know what day of the week it is and stuff? Friday. Today? Friday? Okay. Alright, so I know there's there's a lot, okay, to talk about, and I just want to ask you, you know, why you think you're here, or what led us to us being here, alright? Obviously, I do know information, and the last thing I want to do is you know, to start off on the wrong foot and for you yeah. to start, you know, lying. Yeah. There's always two sides to the story. Obviously, I'm looking at a evidence standpoint, what we, what we were called out to. There's, I don't know what you're going through. If you're going through anything, we're all humans. You know, before me being a detective, I'm, I'm a father, you know, I'm, 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 you know, son and stuff like that. We're all human. It doesn't matter what rank we have or how old we are. All right, and that's why, you know, I asked you to come out here and give me your, your side of the story. Okay, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to question you. I'm not here to accuse you. I'm not here to, you know, belittle you. That's not what I do. That's not my job. So my job is to investigate, and that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, so um, if you can, I would kindly ask you just to tell me the truth, and we'll go from there, okay? So you want to tell me what's going on or what happened today or what led to this? Wait, I don't. 
I mean, I can tell you, but I need you to ask because then I can't tell you because I don't. Right. <laughs> okay. So, um, obviously, I got confirmation that y you were pregnant. Okay. Right. Right. I, I, I found that out yesterday. You found that out yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. So, tell me a little bit more about that. What do you, what do you mean? Like, um, so how is it that you found out, or how? Well, I've been having back pain, like, really bad, and I got in an accident September of 2021, 20, okay. two, two years ago. And um, I just thought that's what it was. And, mm -hmm. I mean, the pain comes and goes, and so I didn't really think anything much of it. Um... And it just kept hurting, and so we, my mom took me to the ER, and they just said that I had some kind of spray, and I don't even know what kind it was. Mm -hmm. And they just gave me medicine for it, and it wasn't helping. Okay. But I still didn't think anything much of it. Um, I gave them my urine sample and to see if for infection or anything. Mm -hmm. I, there was nothing, I guess, I don't know. And then... Um, I just kept hurting, and so I went to the clinic, and they did a urine sample, and they told me I was pregnant, and that's when I found out. You said it was yesterday? Yesterday. And where did you go? To what clinic? What uh, part the one on Del Paso. Del Paso? Okay. Which one? Lee? Yeah, that one. Okay. The one under construction. All right. Who took you? Myself. My parents were at work. Your parents were at work? Yeah. Okay. So I believe your mom said that she had accompanied you, or she took you, or she went with you? No, she didn't. Okay. I went by myself. All right. So, as I mentioned to you before anything, I, I, I like to speak, you know, with the truth, <coughs> obviously, okay? I spoke to some people, and I I know that back in March, you know, is when you spoke to some people, and you told them that you were pregnant. So you had prior knowledge, all right? So I'm not going to... Back in March? Right. You know, no, somebody I by didn't. the name of Walker. Do you know anybody, a friend of yours, a school friend of yours Walker. that I spoke with? And she's the one that told me that you knew that you were pregnant. Walker. I don't and know that you Walker. did not want the child. Walker. Mm -hmm. Her mom is a nurse at, a, at the hospital. Walker. I don't she's know She's a friend Walker. of yours. You don't know anybody by that name? No. No? Not a Walker. Okay. Well, that's her mom's last name, but I spoke with her, and she's the one that told me, obviously, that you knew or had prior knowledge. Wow. All right. Like I said, if you got to be straightforward. I don't know. I okay. swear I don't know Walker. Okay. So, anyway, explain to me as far as what happened today. How did your day start today? The same as any other day. Well, for the past couple of days. Okay. Um, it... I was in pain. I just thought I was, uh, what is it called? <sighs> I think I'm sorry. It's okay. I know there's a um, lot. I, I understand there's a lot going on. Where you can't poop. Okay. Constipation? Yeah. yeah I just thought that's what it was. <coughs> okay. All, so you literally all day and I would go to sleep and then go back to the restroom and go to sleep and go back to the restroom mm -hmm. just the same thing okay so what time did you, your day start I don't even I couldn't tell you to be honest okay so you don't know what time you woke up or do you are you working do you go to school I I go to school but I didn't go I haven't been to school this week yeah, and I didn't have work today okay where are you working at Martinville okay so you haven't been going to school this whole week no no because you've been sick, or yeah, okay. So you don't know what time you woke up. Obviously, a lot happened. Okay, right. so I just yeah, wanted no, to get I, a time frame uh, as far as I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, you don't know what time you wake up, but no. you woke up. Yeah, right. At your parents' house where you live. Yes. What's your address? Eight oh nine West Mackenzie. Okay. Um, you woke up there. You live with your parents. Right. Okay. Um, what did you do when you when you woke up? I went to the restroom. Okay. And I was in pain. I was up all night going. I was asleep, and I go to the restroom, and then mm -hmm. just all hours of the night, all day today. Okay. So what happened after you started going to the restroom? I just went back to sleep because I couldn't go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after that, what did she do? What do you mean? 
Yeah, I mean, obviously... It was, it was repetitive, mm -hmm. and then um, my dad came, my dad went to the store and went, got me some pills, I don't even know what they were, but um, they were supposed to help me poop, and I took it and I went back to sleep, and I stayed asleep for I don't even know how long. Okay. And then I woke up, and I just kept trying to use the restroom, and I'd go back to sleep, and then it's just repetitive, sir. Mm hmm what happened after that? What do you mean? Mm, so obviously, we, I mean, you, you have an idea what happened. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, but like, I'm, I'm try, I can't tell you if you, like, I'm not a very good explanation. Okay. So obviously you gave birth to a child. Right. We're, I'm trying to find out where it happened, how it happened, or what led to that and stuff like that. Uh, um, I... I went to sleep and then I woke up and I went to the restroom and I was just trying and then um, it it came out and I thought it was poop and then it it, it wasn't. Okay. So you were where? And you at your house? Yeah, I was okay. by myself. You were by yourself? Yes. Okay. I mean, I mean that's that's not normal, right? Right. Okay. What happened after that? I I was in a panic. I didn't know what to do. Okay. I was scared. Okay. What did you do after? I try, I I cleaned myself and I just it, I just left it where it was and I was scared and I was trying to call my mom but I couldn't because I was so scared I was I think she's gonna hate me. Okay. Just, what made you think that? Just because I just turned eighteen I haven't been even been eighteen for a month and I'm the baby. Right. I understand that's that's a lot to take, okay, and that's why I'm here getting your side of the story. Um, you're home alone, or who was? No, that? I was by myself. You were by yourself, okay, and this happened where? In the and restroom, your yeah, restroom. Yeah. You guys have separate restrooms, yeah. No, it, there's one restroom. There's one restroom, okay. What did you do after the fact? What do you? Or what mean? happened? I mean, obviously. Like I was, I was, I was just cleaning. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Okay. And I just wrapped it in a in a in a towel. Okay. Um. Did you ever thought of contacting, you know, an ambulance, a fire department, no, go out there no, and check I you out? I didn't do that. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Scared of what exactly? The, the baby. I just, like it was nowhere. Right. But you're telling me that you knew. Yesterday, right? Yeah, but I didn't know it was. I didn't know how, and I didn't know nothing. Mm -hmm. I knew, but I didn't like know where it was coming today. Right. So it was unexpected. Right. You weren't expecting it to happen. No. And did you contact anybody? No. Okay. You said you didn't contact your mom. No, I tried, but I was. I couldn't. I was scared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a difference between being scared. I mean, I understand you're young. You don't know. Obviously, but if you both you and I know that I mean, pregnancies, you know, they're they're pretty obvious. Your stomach starts growing. You know, you got se several different symptoms and stuff like that. I didn't know nothing. Right. I didn't have nothing. I okay. just I was gaining weight. I was eating more. I was nothing. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So you're in the restroom. You give birth. You wrap it into a towel. What is that? Your towel? What color towel? Uh, I don't even remember, don't remember to be honest. Okay, so what was your next act? What what else did you do after that? I I just left and I drove around, and and I just put it to where I put it. Okay, where are we talking about? Put it where? I mean, obviously I know where you went and you didn't put. <laughs> right, like I had the trash bag in the car. Okay. If you couldn't tell, the car is messy. Mm hmm. But I I. I put it, I did. So. And then I put, I, I put it in, I put it in the bag, I took it to the car, I, when I was in the car, I put, I had two trash bags, okay. I took one with me, which is the one that I had, mm -hmm. and then I, I put it again, and then I was, I, I drove around, and I didn't know what to do, and I just put it in there. Okay. Where did you go? What do you mean? Where did you drive to? 
JC Penney's. I was in. I lived. That, I was in that area. I was. I live in that area. Mm -hmm. So where did you? Where did you throw the garbage bag? In the trash. In the trash. Okay. Did you lock it up? Did you seal it up? With the, the hair tie. I'm sorry. With the hair tie. With the hair tie. But I, I don't even think it stuck because it was broke. Okay. So we're on the verge of breaking. Okay, were you by yourself in the car? I was by myself the whole time. Okay. You never notified anybody? No. Okay. So you grabbed your hair tie and just wrapped it around the yeah. bag? Both bags? Or? No. Just, both. Well, I guess, yeah. What color was the bag? Black. The black bag. So you put the hair tie around the black bag? Alright. So... I don't even think it stayed, to be honest. I, it, like I said, it was broke. Mm -hmm. Like it was on the verge of breaking. Right, did you place it there? Did you throw it there? What did you do? I just, what do you mean? I mean, the like trash Like in the can trash, be. I just, put the, when I tossed it Was in. Was it a normal there. trash can? Like one of those that they pick up, the city picks up, or a bigger trash can, or what? The bigger trash can, I mean. Well, what kind of trash can were we talking about? Like There's different the, the bigger ones, I guess. Okay, what color was the trash can? Green. Weren't they all green? So you just went and placed it inside or outside? or? Inside. Alrighty. Um... So, obviously, you're 18 years of age, you know right yeah. from wrong, right? Right. Okay, so, you wrap around a newborn inside a trash in bag. In panic. I, I'm j right. I just turned 18. Right, right. It's not like I've been 18 forever. Exactly, but you know, I mean, if somebody were to wrap you inside a trash can and put a tie on it, and you're not able to move... Well, the tie was broke. Like right. I, could, I would be able to stick my hand in there. What do you think would have happened? What do you mean? So what do you think would have happened? If you never notified law enforcement, you never called for EMS. You I never... didn't. And I didn't. I'm still in. Mm -hmm. What? What exactly? What do you think was going to happen? I don't know. You don't know what would have happened. Well, I mean, obviously, I know, but mm -hmm. and I, I, I'm in a panic. I, I don't, I. There's a baby in front of me. I just... Okay. You never notified your mom? Never. No, you never notified anybody? Nobody. Okay, so... It's not, you know, it's not... Normal behavior from any reasonable person to do what you did. If I'm... What do you know, mean? It's not... In a panic when I just turned 18? Right. It still isn't, though. We're talking about a baby. Well, I know, I know what you mean, but, like... I'm... I get what you mean. Okay. Let me take a small break, okay? I'll be right back. Can my mom come in here when you're gone? Um... Well, you're 18. You're of age. Okay? So... I know. Unless you were a juvenile, then that would change things. But give me just a minute. I'll be right back. Not even while you're out of the room? Let me see what I can do, okay? Back to where we left off. Um, I appreciate you, you know, being telling me what happened and stuff. What did you do after the fact? I know. What time, more or less, was it? Do you remember? Do you recall? Mm -hmm. Like two fifteen, maybe somewhere around that time. Okay, that's when you dropped off the baby. Somewhere, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. What did you do after the fact? I drove around. Continued to drive around. Continued to drive around to do what? I don't know, just to clear my, to, to figure out what to do. Okay. What else? I mean, where'd you go? Where'd you end up going? Where did you do? I ended up going to my house. You ended up going to your house? What did you do after? When I went to my yeah. house, I just sat on my bed and I was trying to figure okay. out okay. What, what I was supposed to do or what, I, what, what to do. At any point, did you make anybody aware of it? No. I was still in shock. Okay. Nobody found out? Nobody knew about it? Okay. Were your parents back home at the time? You were home alone? Okay. Did you seek any medical attention or no? Did you think about, you know, what could have happened or what, you know, could end up happening to the baby? Yeah. Okay. My mom said it was in love, but is it okay? Okay. Um, 
They'll be briefing me here as we go. So last I heard, the baby's okay. Okay. So did you ever did it ever cross your mind to let anybody know? Contact law enforcement. You know, go back. I don't know. Okay. Cause I was still I'm still in shock the whole time when my parents got home. They 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 just didn't tell them I was still in shock. I was just mm -hmm. in my room. You're in your room. Okay. You, did you ever leave the home afterwards? Did you go anywhere? No. Did you talk to your parents when they got home? Yeah, eventually, but I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. So your parents had no knowledge? No knowledge, absolutely not. And what if I were to tell you that they did have knowledge? What do they, you mean? they told me they didn't know about it. What? what would you say then? How? Because I didn't even know. Okay. You didn't know, but yesterday you found out? I mean... What do you mean? Because I feel like we're talking about two different things, and it's not going well. We're talking about a baby that was thrown in the trash like or garbage, yes. right? And it's a human being. That's well, what we're talking about. When I, My knowledge is when they found out was when the officer showed up at my house. Okay, so I'm talking about the knowledge of you being pregnant, obviously. Oh. Because I know that you knew back when you found out you were pregnant. I and, found it, out. and it wasn't yesterday. It's, That's I what I know. To God it okay, I, I don't like I said, I don't I don't go that route, but I know, I know. And I do my investigation prior to even talking to you and, you know, I'm coming sure. out here and interviewing you. Okay. Yeah. As I told you, I don't I don't I'm not here to judge you. There's right. two sides to a story, yeah. but if you're gonna come and tell me that you found out you were pregnant yesterday and I know that's a lie. Why well, Sorry. Go ahead. Me? No, go ahead. Then cha it changes things because I don't, I don't appreciate <clears throat> that. Right. I found out I was pregnant yesterday. Okay. Because I heard it. The doctor showed me. I knew back in whenever, but I didn't know. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like I was like, oh, it's whatever. So you knew back whenever. When is this? What are we talking about? Back in August. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit before that. All right. So yesterday, whenever you went to the doctor, how far along did they tell you you were? They didn't say. They didn't tell you? No. Okay. So. That's how I didn't know it was coming today. Mm -hmm. All right. So obviously I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. Right. But I, I know women have menstrual periods. So how can you not know? I had my menstrual period every month. Okay. So that never changed? Never. So, but you knew back in August. I, well, I took two. One was positive, one was negative. I took the negative. I didn't. Okay. What about, you know, as far as you beginning weight, any movement, any, anything like that? No, sir. Okay. So, um, back in June, you had an incident. I guess you ran away from home? Were you having... I, I guess you could say ran away. Okay, was it uh, the result of this? And no, you, you had no. no problems with... It was a completely different matter. Okay. So is this the father of your baby, the person you were, ha or you were having issues with? Or you were sending me. messages to your mom, suicidal messages, saying that you were going to be with God, and cops were called out to your address oh. in June. Is it, you know, does this have to do, to me, it obviously... It, it has nothing to do with him, absolutely okay. nothing. And this is not the person that is I, responsible no, for your baby, or... I, have no clue. I know this is a lot of questions I'm asking, right. I'm just trying to figure out, like no, I said, I'm not curious. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's not a result of this. He had nothing to do, like, it was... Right. So it's it's not him. Is there somebody we need to talk to? I mean, did he do something to you? No, no, no. That would cause, no. that would lead to this? No, no, did no. he... Did he know? No. Okay, but you do know who is the father of the baby. Yes. Okay, but well, he didn't. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind sharing his name? Stephen Astorga. Okay. Stephen Astorga? Yes, sir. How do you spell the last name? A S T O R G A. Okay. Do you happen to know his date of birth by chance? I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Do you, know, do you know more or less how old he is? He's 16. 17. One of those. 16 or 17? Yes. And y'all dated for how long? Uh, about a year and a half. Okay. So I'm assuming you met in school? Yes. 
Do you mind me asking what happened, or what did y'all break up? We we broke up. We just wasn't up. working out. Okay. When did y'all break up? When? Mm hmm. Oh, I don't even remember. You don't remember? More or less. A year ago. About August, I think. Around August. Yeah. Sometime when, like, the beginning of school. Okay. So you, you said things weren't working out? Yeah. So obviously if you know enough for you to tell me that he's obviously the father of your child, you should have known when you got pregnant, right? <laughs> honestly, not really. Not really. But you, you're able to tell me who it is, so... You know, well, he was the only one I've ever been with. A reasonable so. person would say that you knew when you got pregnant. Not... With all due respect, not necessarily. Because, no. I mean... Okay. So. I'm just, you know, yeah, out there. you give me information, obviously, but he didn't right. do anything as far as to lead you to do this? Did he? Nothing? Okay. Did you just think um, you were be better off without a child because you're too young? No, I... I wait, mean, wait. Sorry, go backtrack. What do you mean? Um, what's... I'm trying to reason like as far as my, what... Like, what is what is in my head? Or, like, what... what I'm trying to reason your actions. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh. Yeah, a reason behind your actions. I, I, I knew I was too young, but I knew I would be able to do... Like, I'm about to graduate school. Mm -hmm. School's not my worry. I have a stable job. I'm... Money's not... <coughs> <coughs> a worry for me. Okay. Um, so, I would be able to... I... I... I if the baby's okay, I want it. Okay. And what if I told you the baby was dead? What would change then? <laughs> Nothing. On Monday, January 10, 2022, Avila was arraigned and released until a pretrial detention hearing two days later. At the detention hearing, a crowd gathered at the courthouse entrance. They carried signs, some of which read, Babies are a gift from God, not garbage and justice for baby. Avila appeared in court and pleaded not guilty to charges of attempted murder and child abuse. However, Judge William Shoebridge mandated house arrest for Alexis Avila until trial with the following conditions. She must always remain in her home except for school, work, medical appointments, or counseling. She must wear a GPS tracking device. She is barred from seeing the abandoned baby boy or any child under age 10. Lastly, she is restricted from using any social media and cannot have contact with any males at her home. Judge Shoebridge explained the house arrest would sufficiently protect the community without Avila being in jail, but angry community members disagreed with the judge's decision. Outrage outside the Lovington Courthouse today. Protesters banging on the car of a new, young New Mexico mother who is facing charges for throwing her baby in a dumpster after a judge ruled she will not remain behind bars until trial. At an evidentiary hearing on Monday, February 28th, a district court ruled that the evidence is sufficient to bring Alexis Avila to trial for attempted murder or child abuse resulting in great bodily harm. That will be up to a jury to decide which fits. Alexis Avila's trial is set to start on December 19th. Roughly two months later, in April, lawyers for Avila filed a motion to obtain visitation rights. Before the judge ruled, Alexis stated, I know people portray me as a terrible person, but in reality, I'm not. I am kind, loving, and caring. According to KOB-TV, Avila's lawyer said she has abided by all mandatory court requirements and is receiving counseling. Despite the defense's arguments, Judge Shoebridge denied the motion for visitation rights. The judge clarified, It was only four months ago you placed your son in a trash bag on a frigid day and, by your own admission and video evidence, threw him into a dumpster. He'll know for a lifetime the actions that you took, that you tried to terminate his life.
there are many open questions surrounding this unsettling case. The main one, of course, is why. What allegedly caused Alexis Avila to abandon her newborn child? Was she aware of New Mexico's safe haven law? Due to the frequency and perilous nature of infant abandonment cases, like Avila's, all 50 U.S. states have adopted safe haven laws to encourage mothers in crisis to safely relinquish their babies to designated locations where infants will be protected and given medical care. Avila could have dropped off the infant at a hospital if the baby had not been abused and was less than 90 days old. However, the hospital would have required her to disclose the biological father's name. Since they had previously been in a contentious relationship, could this requirement have deterred her? Alexis Avila will soon have her day in court. While many are understandably angry at her actions and demand punishment, others focus on the best outcomes. In this case, wouldn't the best result be a rehabilitated mother capable of loving, supporting, and nourishing a child who flourishes? Or should the solution be to lock her up and throw away the key? And with it, any hope that young person has about transforming their life and being released from prison? That's a question for you, the viewer. Courts will consider the crime and balance the potential positive outcomes against future harm to the child. One thing is certain, Avila's baby, who was thrown in a dumpster with his umbilical cord still attached and left for dead, is a survivor. And one day, he too may ask how much forgiveness should be extended to his mother.